Hey everybody, this is Daniel from fitnessblow.com here with another workout for you. Today we're going to be doing a really intensive core workout to really burn out those ab muscles. We're going through eight different groups of two exercises each. We're going to be doing it in an ABAB format and we're going to be doing it Tabata style, which is 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. So we have no warm up or cool down included with this. So if you haven't done a warm up yet, you'll want to go ahead and do that before you get started. So go ahead and pause it and do that. Otherwise, all you need for this is an optional exercise mat. If you're on a nice soft surface, you don't even need that. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, let's go ahead and get ready. We're gonna be doing, like I said, uh, groups of two exercises in AB, AB format, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Our first group is going to be a jackknife crunch and a side hip raise on the left side only. We'll be doing the right side for the next group. So let me get my timer started. We're gonna be starting up here. In just a second, starting off again, like I said, with that jackknife crunch, so laying flat on your back, full extension of those arms and legs. Crunch, or contract those abs, bring those arms and legs up, crunch up towards those toes, back down nice and slow, right back up again. We only have to do this for 20 seconds, so try to make sure you're keeping everything really nice and solid. Nice straight legs, don't let those hands or feet touch the ground. And let that one relax. Off to your left side for that side hip raise. Stack those feet, hand up on your hip, and bring those hips up nice and high, down, barely hover, don't completely touch, and right back up again. If you find you can't keep your balance, you start tipping too far forward or back, you can always stagger those feet, one in front of the other. Just keep that motion going. Nice tight squeeze, tucking that shoulder underneath you. And switch it back. Another one of those jackknife crunches. So flat on your back, arms and legs out. And start up. Contract those abs, crunch up towards those toes. Slowly back down, right back up again. Nice tight squeeze every single time. Don't let those abs release. Try to keep that lower back flat against that mat. And back over again on that side, on that left side again. For that side hip raise, stack those feet, hands up on top of that hip. And start up, lift those hips, pull that shoulder underneath, right back down, try to keep those shoulders and those hips perpendicular to the ground. Squeeze that hip up as high as you can, really using that oblique on that bottom side to pull yourself up. And let that one relax. Moving on to our next group, which is going to be flutter kicks, and then that side hip raise on the opposite side. So flutter kicks are almost the same exact position for that jackknife, but hands down, feet barely off the ground, kicking them back and forth for the harder version. To make it easier, just lift those legs higher up in the air. But try to keep them nice and low, barely hovering off the ground, as low down as you can, as low as you can control. Those knees start bending or that back starts coming up, you're down too low. Let that one relax. Switch it over to the other side. Same side hip raise, but on the opposite side. So up on that hip. Pull those hips up off the ground. Pull that shoulder underneath you. Again, hips and shoulders perpendicular to the ground. Try to let yourself lean forward or lean back. And let it relax. Since I'm facing this way already, I might as well go ahead and do it on this side. So hands down to help you keep your balance. Contract those abs, get those feet up, and start them going. Nice quick motion. Keep that leg perfectly straight, abs contracted, lower back plastered against that mat. Keep those lungs open. Let it relax, back over onto your side. Last round, the side hip raise. Stack those feet, hand up on top of that hip, and start it up. That was our last round of this exercise, or sorry, of this group as well. So we'll be switching off to a new group after this one. First exercise being a crisscross crunch. And let it relax. Back onto your back. One leg out, the other leg, knee above that hip joint. 
Hands behind your head, contract those abs, crunch up to that knee, don't bring that knee in, then switch over, crunch up to that knee, switch back. For the harder version, don't let that knee come in past that hip joint. If you start getting too tired, you can start letting it drift in a little bit, but try to keep it out for as long as you can. And let it relax. The next exercise is going to be a windshield wiper, so we're gonna move that mat really quick. Out flat on your back. Arms out nice and wide, legs up. Rotate those legs left to right. Try to keep them as straight as you can. 90 degree off of your torso as much as you can. And let them relax. Do that crisscross crunch again. I'm just gonna stay right where I am. One leg out, one leg tucked up. And start it. Crunch up and rotate. Try to lift that shoulder up off the ground as high as you can up towards that knee. Remember, harder version is not letting that knee come in past that hip joint. Let that relax. Got another round of those windshield wipers. Legs straight up in the air. For the easier version, you can always bend those knees to a 90. Otherwise, try to keep them nice and straight. Only go as far as you can control. If your shoulders start picking up off the ground, you're going too far. And let it relax. We move this mat back real quick. We're gonna do a reverse crunch next. So laying flat on your back again. Legs straight up in the air. Hands down by your hips. Lift those hips up off the ground but don't swing your legs. You don't wanna be kicking your feet back and forth. You wanna just push them straight up into the sky. If your abs aren't burning yet, you're doing something wrong. Wow, let that relax. Russian twist next. Sit up on that tailbone. Back nice and flat, hands out in front of your chest. Lean back as far as is comfortable. Rotate left to right. The more you lean back, the harder it's gonna be, but only go back as far as you can control, keeping that back flat. Whew, and let it relax. Back down onto your back. Got the reverse crunch again. Hands down, feet up. Lift those hips. Keep those lungs open. I said try to swing those legs if you can. Let it relax, back up. Got another round of that Russian twist, and then we get a little bit of a break. So nice flat back, hands in front of your chest. Lean back as far as you can control. Rotate left to right. Keep those lungs open. And let it relax. All right, you get a little extra water break here. If you need a little extra rest, hit pause. Otherwise, we're starting back in in just a second. All right, let's go ahead and get started with that second half of this routine. Our next group is going to be starting off with a Spider-Man plank, so you're going to be actually on elbows and toes, or elbows and knees for this one, and a toe touch crunch. Let me get my timer started here. So Spider-Man plank, you'll be starting off, like I said, on elbows and toes, like a half push-up position. Hold it, and that knee comes up and out to the side, and same thing on the other side, just alternate back and forth. Just keeping those hips nice and low and trying not to open them up out to the side. So you want all that motion coming from that hip socket rather than rotating those hips. And let it relax, switch over 
onto your tailbone, hands on the ground behind you for the slightly easier version of this. Contract that back, make sure it's nice and flat. Extend out, crunch forward as you tuck those knees in and back out. For the harder version, pick those arms up off the ground, crunch and extend. Remember, try to get that back flat as you extend those legs out. All right, back again to that Spider-Man plank. So flip it over, flip on those toes, hip up and out to the side, or sorry, knee up and out to the side. Try to keep those hips parallel to the ground. Keep those lungs open, keep those core muscles contracted, hips nice and low. Back over on that tailbone. Remember, hands on the ground for that easier version. Otherwise, hands across your chest. Extend out, flat back. Crunch forward as you tuck those knees in. I don't know if you can hear it on the audio or not, but my hips are popping like crazy. There's no pain associated with it. It's perfectly fine if your hips and joints make a little bit of noise when you're doing these. And let that relax. Our next group is back extension, so flat on your back. Arms and legs out, full extension. And lift it, arch it up nice and high. Down, a little bit of a hover for the harder version. Squeeze it up, back down. Try to get your chest and thighs up off the ground as high as you can each time. Nice, slow, controlled motion. Don't snap those arms and legs up. And flip it over onto your back, doing an X crunch. So arms and legs out just a little bit. Left hand, right foot, right hand, left foot. Start it up. Up. Just alternating back and forth. It's kind of like a toe touch crunch, but you're doing alternating sides. Keep those core muscles nice and tight. Keep that lower back flat against the ground. And let it relax. Back over onto that stomach. Arms and legs out, full extension. Start it up. Arch up nice and high. A little bit of a hover. Right back up. Keep those lungs open. Full extension on those arms. Let it relax, flip it back over, that X crunch again. Remember, hands and feet nice and wide. And start it. This is our last exercise of this group. We've got one more group to go. We're gonna be starting it off with just a traditional crunch. So nothing real fancy. And let it relax. Bring those feet in just a little bit closer. Hands behind your head. Keep those elbows outside of your field of vision. And crunch it up. Nice and slow down. Keep a little bit of a hover. Don't let those abs release. Right back up. Don't let that lower back come up off the ground. As soon as it does, you're doing a sit up rather than a crunch. And we want to just do a crunch. Flip it over onto your stomach. We're doing a traditional plank. So elbows and toes or elbows and knees, whichever you can do. Bring it up and freeze. So we're just doing this one for 20 seconds. On our last round, we're gonna try to go for as long as we possibly can. So we got just a little bit longer on this one. Keep those abs nice and tight. Belly button pulled in. And let it relax. Back over onto your back. Last round of a traditional crunch. Hands behind your head. Crunch it up. Keep those abs nice and tight. Get up as high as you can without actually letting that lower back come up off the ground. Elbows outside of your field of vision. As you do this, if you're gonna wanna bring them in, try to keep them back, barely touching the back of your head. 
and flip it back over. This is our last exercise. Like I said, hold it as long as you possibly can. Traditional plank. And start it up. So get those hips up nice and high. Just let it relax as much as you can anyway. Belly button pulled in nice and tight. Straight line from shoulder to ankle. Just breathe normally, go to your happy place. We're gonna let the timer run out here. Just keep going. Just hold it there nice and steady. Whew. Like I said, go to your happy place. Try to hold it as long as you can. Just breathe normally, keep your lungs open. As you can probably see, my body's starting to tremble like crazy. Whew. Keep going, keep going. Ouch. After doing a nice long core workout, holding like this just burns those muscles out completely. So just, like I said, go to your happy place. Just hold it as long as you can. If you need to drop to your knees, go ahead. Ooh, short little break. Ouch, keep it going. Oh, let it relax. If you can keep going, go for it. If you can beat me, by all means, keep pushing yourself. My abs are toast, so I'm gonna go ahead and quit. So, for me, that was my last exercise, which means this workout is complete. Good job, guys. I'll see you next time.